Okay, sternocleidomastoid and trapezius muscles. Those are two muscles in the neck that move the head. These two muscles are innervated by the spinal accessory nerve. That is cranial nerve 11. The sternocleidomastoid muscle has an attachment to the mastoid process of the skull. The more inferior attachment is to the sternum, which is gone here, and to the clavicle, which is also gone here. The head and neck and upper torso were cut just above the level of the sternum and a portion of the clavicle. The sternocleidomastoid muscle can be used to flex the neck and it can extend the head and it can rotate the neck. The muscle on the left side which you are looking at here will rotate the head towards the right and the muscle then on the right side would rotate the head towards the left. If we take that muscle and move it from its position like so here you can see the spinal accessory nerve the 11th cranial nerve which is entering into the substance of the muscle will provide the motor innervation for that muscle and then if we turn posteriorly and it is not shown here it has been cut but there is another branch of that spinal accessory nerve which runs across the posterior cervical triangle and innervates the trapezius muscle.